Welcome to the SolarQ Super Show. I'm your host, Crumbs. We've got episodes every week with new guests. You can check us out on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts. If you're watching there, leave us a review. Or if you're on YouTube, hello and please subscribe. This week's guests are Solo and Benji, top laner and AD, but both are assistant coaches right now. Welcome, guys. How are you? Doing good. Doing pretty good, man. How are you? Well, I am pretty sad now with the COVID-19 canceling everything but other than <laughs> yeah. that we still have the solo q super show we do going yeah. on because we're just going to be stuck indoors playing games yep. all day now a new patch is around the corner that i think is really interesting because it's taking it's tackling a lot of things that a lot of players felt like the game needed to address and that's 10.6 but before we dive into that what aspects of the game do you think we need to be looking at to fix or riot needs to be fixing whether it's matchmaking experience in the jungle better chat experience whatever you, it is uh what do you think for solo queue and for solo queue because I, I personally think a voice option is very useful oh man a voice option would be nice <laughs> it's, it's long been needed i mean they've that's dangerous though. yeah a little bit but i mean you could always leave voice chat like having the option there at least would be nice it, it has been 10 years you know right a little bit overdue yeah maybe that maybe they'll do a voice chat eventually um, but as far as like the game goes, I, I think it feels pretty good. I think part of the only things that I, I think individual dragons are still a little bit, whatever, like they don't feel as rewarding as maybe they should be. Um, and I think top lane is like, obviously still like an Island sort of situation, but I think with the teleport changes, they're making, you know, it's a step in the right direction for what they need to do with the individual dragons do you not like the fact that teams can say oh we don't want to fight this third one or even this fourth one then we can just win otherwise would you would you rather have every dragon have to be a contested um i just feel like there's more of a middle ground i think earlier in the season where the drags were stronger was better than what it is now last season no no no. like the beginning of the season where they oh, oh okay yeah before they nerfed it okay yeah you. and then they nerfed all the dragons and then it became a situation where you could basically give up three and then it didn't even and as long as you they didn't get the soul it was okay. And even in some situations, like Cloud Souls a little bit, you know, it doesn't matter so much. So it feels like you can avoid um, fighting and you can lose early game as well without actually like... Yeah, they definitely anything. need to balance out the souls too. Like, I don't even think it's a Cloud Souls weak. It's just that the other ones are so much stronger. Like specifically Ocean is just insanely overtuned. I don't know how that got overlooked, but <laughs> I feel like you should have to contest every fourth dragon. Like, Hmm. Would it be cooler if you had, say, a mini soul that stacks up with, say, the second dragon and then the third so that each one has a bonus that you have to acknowledge? It would be cool if the first two dragons had, like, a buff, I guess. Or, like, if you got... Uh, maybe if... um, Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe it's something like the first two dragons are just stronger, but then after that, it's, like, more equalized. That'd be a little bit nicer, but... I, I'm not sure. I, I don't think they have much interest. I think they like the way it is. Um, so I don't see them changing it too much, but it does seem like with how slow, I don't know. My games feel like, um, like I, I feel like they want the game to be faster. So maybe they'll make them a little bit stronger. Yeah. It feels like the early dragons are sort of just like a luxury right now. If you're ahead, like you just happen to take them cause they die pretty easily. But it's like, if you're behind or like, you don't, uh, you're not as strong early game. It doesn't feel like something worth fighting for. Cause it's like okay, I'd rather just start fighting when they have, like, three dragons and we can start contesting, like, when they're at soul point or whatever you want to call right, it. Right, you have a lot of wiggle room yeah, before exactly. you start going in there. Yeah. Um, is there any other aspect, though, besides the dragons that you want to look at in the game that, that is too much? You want more friends on your list, right? It's 300. <laughs> it's been 10 years, like yeah. you say. Like, we know more people now. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Max really out on all my still? accounts. Yeah, it's only 300. Yeah. I'm at the point Their now where I'm going to like remove yeah, somebody. Right? And when I remove someone, it's like, oh, I know that guy, you know? So I also know why the client is like that. So it turns out Riot doesn't actually make the entire client themselves. It's multiple different vendors get hired to make different parts. <laughs> and that's how most clients, oh, no. uh, that's how most games are actually made. <laughs> okay. So anyway. this is not Riot being unique. It's that, for example. <laughs> but they're like the only one with this kind of issue. Though. If anything, Riot should be unique. Maybe, like, yeah. I, I don't know how many big. other games, but like they have somebody that does chat and somebody does uh, the store. Somebody does the graphics. Somebody does matchmaking. And so all of these have to come together. And that's what makes it so janky to be able to change it because you actually don't have complete Gotta dive into that spaghetti control code and get everybody's. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah. I, I think it is a testament to how good League is that they can have 
such a huge failing in terms of clients. <laughs> and we still don't even love this game. We still don't have a low esports app or yeah. any, or the website being very useful. So yeah, kudos to the game devs because they <laughs> they're hard to yeah, carry. They're keeping it together for real. Uh, now I want to talk to you guys about being assistant coaches, specifically what you look for in the player in solo queue. Like what makes you play with somebody and say that guy's got potential. This person really stands out, or I would like to play with them more. Like, what is it about somebody in the game that makes you want to play with them again? I think it's like sort of the X factor that they have as a player. Like it's interesting to see players that are capable of doing really crazy mechanical things. Like, you know, five years ago, I would see any play and be like i could probably replicate that if i put enough time in but then like now the game has gotten so advanced like you know we're on the the 10th season uh just seeing a player that's capable of doing like insane things mechanically is is really good but also it's like important that they're able to be consistent about it and actually like play the game correctly because there's like a lot of ways to win in solo queue where you're just sort of cheesing or playing like really cheesy champs like new new players and stuff like that shaco players maybe uh, so it's like good to see people that are capable of winning on like whatever's meta at the time not like one tricks and stuff like that okay no one tricks this yeah. is a really common trend every single well, guest <laughs> has flamed one tricks <laughs> and it's been bad because a yeah. lot of them were also one tricks yeah well there's actually there's been so many one tricks that actually transitioned from like that to to playing pro uh especially a lot of riven players you know like the shy febivin were both yeah. like huge riven players general sniper coming out general sniper is <laughs> coming through viper I think like if you're one tricking a super mechanical champion, like you have potential. But if you're one tricking something like Nunu, it's like, get out of my game, man. Like I don't, you don't need to be here. Um, it, I think it's funny in solo queue. The first thing I think about whenever I face someone who's good is I go, okay, is this guy playing on twenty ping or something? That's oh. <laughs> the first thing I That's, think about. Yeah. If I lose to someone, I'm like, oh, that guy played really clean and he had a lot of movement. I was like, yeah, yeah. dude, this guy's playing for fucking Chicago or something. Like, he yeah, must so be someone lands like an Ezreal Q on me. I'm like, this dude's this is a Chicago <laughs> player, 100. percent Yeah, and then, uh, I mean, it's nice to see people do well. I think, you know, looking for consistency. I, I mean, champion pool stuff. As long as they play like two or three champions, maybe, and if they're not all like one dimensional, like if I see some guy and he's playing only like. I rally uh, Jax. Trend of, I'm not trying to call TF it. Yeah. <laughs> TF but if he's like playing all trash. the same type of champions yeah. and only plays one play style, then it's like, okay, I don't know how good this guy can be, even if he's like pretty okay mechanically. Um, but if they can play like a, you know, different few champions and different styles and they can play well with the team, like if every game they're just doing their own thing no matter what, it's a bad sign. But if they can like adapt to what the team needs, even in solo queue, like and try to play with the team and sacrifice themselves like yeah. it's a good look i think like losing gracefully is one of the most important skills for players where like if it's not your job in that specific game to like crush your opponent you don't lose that hard you know instead of like dying solo or like uh dying to the tower dive you like back up you give the minions you you actually think about it players like that are really really important because almost everybody just wants to be strong side like it's it's not easy to crush your opponent but it is like easier to play with resources when the jungler and, and mid laner are like constantly roaming to your lane and stuff like that so people that are able to play weak side successfully and, and not lose too hard are, it's really important would you honor somebody that played weak side and didn't die over somebody that played strong side and hard and carried well, let's not get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that might be going a little bit too far. Right. I mean, I'm still carrying them, but like, I'm glad you didn't go 0 10, you know? All right. Uh, actually, you brought up a really interesting point about the ping. I don't know if you guys saw it. It's a little sidetrack, but uh, the, the Valorant game announced that they were committed to making sure that 70% of players had under 35% ping with a new uh, server that they're essentially creating. Okay. I felt personally attacked when i <laughs> yeah. saw that because we have been asking for lower ping for ever since the chicago server was put yeah. in place yeah and now a new game is getting all the non-spaghetti code server everything like what's <laughs> yeah. going on like we're like the first child and oh. then they have a baby you know, yeah. like 10 years later and they get all the cool stuff it's like they got a car for themselves. They get to go out all the time. Oh, no. <laughs> we're stuck being all the chores true yeah um i don't know much about that but um and obviously i'm not like some expert on server status or whatever but um i mean they probably assume that they're gonna have this insane player base i mean league obviously has like a lot of players but it's hard for league to at this point to split their ranked between east and west i think it's just gonna be anybody who wants to play like high elo is gonna yeah. have to play west coast even if you live in you know miami or something crazy right i always felt like when you get high elo uh like you should just start 
playing on like the West Coast server. There should be another West Coast server that's like exclusive to like master tier players. Like I don't know the logistics of that, but it's just like every pro is on the West Coast. It doesn't make sense to cater to like the solo queue players on the East Coast at that point. You know, if you were trying to be a pro right yeah. now and you have some money that you can afford and you don't want to go to Asia to boot camp there, would it be a good idea to boot camp in Chicago? <laughs> have lower ping and impress all the people that might potentially be hey if, yeah if you're trying to impress people yeah, yeah i mean that might be a good choice you go out there and smurf on some people with okay. 10 ping there it is the boot camp in chicago it's not bad like i mean i, I think johnson is like a fine pro or whatever but mm -hmm. he got net recognized a lot because of his solo queue yeah i know that guy's playing on 20 oh, ping 100 <laughs> percent. yeah I'm so, like i said <laughs> so, he's landing those ezreal queues they hit yeah he's playing you know, on they're 20 not ping supposed to hit 60 ping right so but they do it helps it helps a lot um and I think that helped impress people. I mean, he's fine overall and he's doing well on his own, but would he have gotten as much recognition if he didn't have that advantage? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's no way he could have even had those many top accounts without having such a low ping. It's such a big aspect. I remember Nidalee in North America was one of the strongest champions. Uh -huh. You play that in Korea, you can't hit a single spear. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's, true. Like, it's actually not possible. True, true. They all dodge game. you. It's, so yeah. I totally respect the 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 ping problem yeah because it goes from being prediction based to reaction based it's like just a completely different world you know mechanically right so. you're always looking at your opponent before yeah um have you guys looked at patch 10.6 so new patch that's coming out checked it out a little bit here and there yeah. okay so i'll give you a, a few things that were really interesting i think the first one this will affect you solo teleport changes essentially are buffed in the late game yeah what do you think about that more split pushing or just more team fighting flanks so to give context, uh, <laughs> they put a little display thing below. Us. <laughs> no, <Context>. um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So they're gonna change the cooldown a little bit, so it's like longer early, but gets reduced over time. And then I think the biggest thing, which is also, I, didn't, I mean, that's kind of weird, but I guess they want it to be TP up more late game, mm -hmm. which I get. The other thing that I think is great is you get like forty percent movement speed coming out of TP. Yeah. So you basically have Nimbus Cloak on every champion. Um, or like a home guard sort of thing. So when you actually TP, people don't just run away. <laughs> I think that's like the big thing is you TP bottom sometimes and everyone's just like, oh, we should probably just run and then they can't catch them, right? Right, you just... I think it will... I think in pro play, it'd be crazy. Like It has to be. For, yeah, for flanking for sure. and stuff, there's going to be much more priority on that sort of thing. But even for solo queue, a lot of the times, like there are like smart players who will realize, okay, I'm not going to be able to win versus this guy. And they'll just sit at their tower, get crushed, be down like 30 CS. But then you can't like actually impact the game because you're not really that strong relative to everyone else because everyone else is fighting, getting kills. And so you usually have to figure out how you're going to TP or roam. And now your TPs will actually like get you kills instead of maybe, you know, not being as impactful. And I think it'll be good for both phases of the game. Would it be stronger over Ignite? I still have a hard time in solo queue picturing a, a weaker early teleport to be a good response over an ignite top laner um i mean ignite versus teleport at least for top lane is like really just how you use it i think if you're versus someone who's good they should never really die to ignite teleport is better you know versus ignite if the person is actually good i want to keep you in mind we have a advantage. segment called explain like i am bronze so. <laughs> <laughs> so. sure sure i mean if the person's smart like if you have ignite and they have teleport like if they just don't die to you, they can always TP back get an advantage, right? And then you're going to be playing from behind the rest of the landing phase. It's like, yeah, you might be able to... If you can solo kill them, if you think you're good enough, then you can snowball that way. Hoonie. If you're Hoonie <laughs> yeah. and you think you're going to Lucian Ignite them. But <laughs> I think just a could. lot of the he, champs... He thought. <laughs> he thought. I think it's just... I think Teleport is just solid. And I think even if you want to take Ignite, it's like if you're in a situation where most of your games are like a bot diff or something, or you want to be able to impact the map besides just maybe getting one or two solo kills then yeah, TP is going to look better and you'll be able to, you know, add some flexibility to your game. Okay. More teleports in the top lane, less ignite or yeah. ghost flash Darius, please. <laughs> I'm down for that. Yeah. No more ghost flash Darius, dude. Jesus. Um, he's getting nerfed actually yeah. in 10.6, yeah, which is really nice. But uh, more to your role, Aphelios and Senna. All yeah, they're right. finally killing Aphelios, I guess. I mean, I'm sure he'll <laughs> still be good, but, like, it's about time. Really? Like, That's a pretty big nerf. I yeah, well, they'll bring him back, I guess. Like, But, yeah, he's had his couple months in the spotlight. I feel like it's time. And then Senna is just clinging on, you know? Like, now she's being played as, like, a funneled support. It's like, yeah. just get this champ out of my game. She's so broken, <laughs> man. 
I enjoyed the so I actually think what Cena does that allows you to have different champions with goal is a cool mechanic that has just n- almost never been a part of League. Mm-hmm. But I would like it to stay if more champions can get deliver it, and if it's not just Cena because yeah. clearly it's just Cena being broken. Yeah. But if you can play other champions or go an item that does that, is that a a style that you think is healthy for the game that you can have that variance in the bottom lane. Cause we got shit like Kalista top now. Yeah. Right? Like <laughs> this is the least of the weird things happening. I'm personally not a fan of it because I feel like it's sort of like still, it just takes power out of AD carry's hands. Like I feel like supports already have so much. Wait, agency. you still think ADs have power? <laughs> we're, we're not. What little we that. have, like the one percent, <laughs> is being is going to be dropped to 05 percent if we have more of those style champions. I feel like. Are you surprised they didn't nerf stone nerf stone plate as well? Yeah, I mean it makes no sense. Like you get one shot, the support full combos you, and then they stone plate and walk away. Or well, you're dead too. So like they and don't the even build need path to. Is so the, oh, it's perfect. And yeah. The passive, the passive is the craziest thing that yeah. I, I just can't believe is still on that. You could get rid of the passive. Yeah. And it'd still be a broken item. True. Yeah. True. It's well, cheap and also too. The other really support cheap. items are kind of. I mean, I don't know. It's kind of weird because stone plate's obviously broken, but. Knife's Vow and Zeke's are both kind of just very whatever items. Yeah, they feel like whatever to complete. You know, they're they're nice to have, but it's not like game changing like a stone plate is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Champions that got buffed, Morgana got a little bit buffed. I don't think that's gonna do a whole lot. <laughs> move speed buffs. Yeah, move speed yeah, They love those. And, they love those. Um, what was the other yeah, that was I don't. Really I don't know why she got buffed. It. Garen got nerfed. Did you think Garen was a was a little too strong right now? I felt like I'm <laughs> playing him and having a good time. I, I I mean He's I haven't run into Garen that much. I do remember seeing some dude playing Garen top, and he would just rush uh, Trinity. He would get Trinity, but he'd get uh, Berserker Grace first. Yeah, yeah, and he'd that's just what run I'm doing. Pull up with the Zerkies, you can't win. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Spins, I, that's, I, that's crazy. I, yeah, I don't. I never really faced it, yeah. but apparently that's like rolling over people. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's kind of funny. I mean, it's that problematic so easy, in Diamond for sure. It's going to be hard that, dude, to that, balance. So it's the menace of Diamond. That's exactly. So I'm in Diamond, and that's what's <laughs> that's what is working actually yeah. because yeah. you hit ten stacks of Conqueror in less than a full spin. Oh really? Yeah. yeah so w- one it. spin you have it, and when you have Zerker, it's, it's brutal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a problem, Colin. Yeah, it's yeah huge, okay. That's a big problem. Insane. <laughs> yeah. um, so you think he, the nurse are deserved? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if Garen specifically needs nerfs compared to some other champs, but like, yeah, I guess he's a problem for like lower elo players, even even diamond. So, it's it's not bad. I think his numbers are just a little bit overtuned. So, like, he feeds off my top laner and then he runs at me and I die. So yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, he fan. really doesn't provide a lot of counterplay. No, yeah. So um, now somebody else I got buffed. This is an interesting experiment that they've been doing. I don't know if you guys followed. I think it was in ten point three where they started buffing champions that don't jungle. Mm-hmm. And just giving them a lot of random jungle stats, which is inadvertently just buffing them because now people just lane them and go into the jungle and farm yeah, right. a, exactly. a ton. Yeah. So is this the wrong way of going about making these champions into the jungle? Because now you just have really strong jungle farming champions. I just don't think they should be junglers. Like they're fine as <laughs> laners. They don't need to be junglers. Not everything like needs to Timo be jungle. Got big jungle. We buffs. don't need Timo jungle. That's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah. like, that's, that's just really. He already hits me hard enough. You know, hits me with that one two. I yeah. die every time. I, I get what they're doing, where they're trying to make it so, you know, maybe you never jungle and you play Timo only. Like, yeah. And and you're like, I don't know what to play. I don't want to just like first time. Yeah some random champion i'm just gonna play teemo and they want to make people be able to do that and the win rates are like pretty low but uh i'm not sure honestly i had yamakaze on talent jungle in my game it was hidden i'm not gonna lie (laughs) that was kind of crazy right so there's no way you can actually know how good these champions are because no one's playing them so you're gonna have somebody that's just a really good one trick pick it up and suddenly it's going to be the most busted thing. It's going to be insane. And then it's going to either get picked up by everybody or just nerfed into the ground. So I actually just don't see how this can end well. I don't know. <laughs> right? yeah, I, either something is overtuned <laughs> or it's just a complete flat uh, fail because the Talon was a cool one. I think um, Morgana Jungle is probably going to be the most obnoxious of all of them. True. Yeah. Brand like, Jungle also. Pretty yeah. Brand fine. Jungle, yeah. It's pretty good. Actually. Imagine Morgana just shows up into your bot lane level six oh puts a black God. shield on already has stopwatch by the way right yep. just shows up you yep. got tower dough with this <laughs> it's gonna be a problem man it's gonna be a problem uh is there any champions that you'd like you guys would like to see uh, nerfed or buffed mm. i think uh, hmm. 
I'm happy with like the Aphelios in the center nerfs. Honestly, I'd like to see MF get nerfed further because she's still like insanely broken. Yeah, they barely touched her attack speed, and they're like, all right, have fun. But like her auto attacks just do more damage than every other AD. You can't trade autos with her, and that's the whole meta for ADs right now is like having IE and Essence Reaver together because they're just so efficient. And then her first auto just does like a million damage to you, so you can never actually like trade back. And she's just so easy to play too. I don't like it when like super simple champions are good. Like. I'd rather Ezreal be good over something like MF, you know? So, I wouldn't mind seeing more nerfs for her, to be honest. Yeah, MF is really annoying. Yeah. I um, just played her last night, first time. And it was very easy, actually. Yeah. The fact that the W, for some reason, gives you that attack speed stare is like yeah. completely it's unnecessary. <laughs> right? yeah, it's 40% sure. at level 1? It's, it's huge. It's so big. <sighs> oh, okay. and, and her laning phase is like, you just ran, like, her Q costs, like, no mana. All it takes is one Q hitting, and you have to reset. So, it's like... She just runs back and forth on the wave, and eventually you you just die. Like it's just a, a waiting game. So, not a fan of that. Okay, yeah, yeah. misfortune. I can I can line up with those nerfs. Every time she's meta, it, you know the team fighting is coming out. Yeah. Uh. Well, this moves us on to the ladder report, where we actually look at guys that you might have been playing against, a top ten in solo queue, and we see what they're up to. We've got the rank one player, a new member, um, this usual suspects list shurn fire oh mm. shit yeah the <laughs> sub jungler for Shurn. team liquid and now academy oh, jungler is rank one with a 60 percent win rate and running lee sin is it him is he just a lee abuser or is he like is he legit i don't know if he does this in your games but like me and Shurn low-key got some beef now or something because every time oh, i play against this guy he level two from top <laughs> And then every time he comes back, like over and over, I, I never get ganked so much. I, I don't think I, that's exclusive to Shurn. I remember I people I was, see your name. <laughs> people see Solo in yeah. their games. They're like, I gotta tilt this guy. Dude, Shurn takes it to another level, dude. I've never been camped <laughs> so much by one guy. I've never been just like goes after me no matter what. And it is partially my fault because he he did that like partially. a couple times, and then I would like taunt him right because. I, I oh, yeah. like I ain't a little, oh, yes. bit, little bitch about it and just get camped and be like, okay, this is fine. Yeah. I'll be like, come again. One v two more. Like, yeah. I'll say stuff in all chat just to just to like egg him on because in my head I'm thinking like, okay, all I have to do is outplay this guy, and my team should carry right. So I'll take that. I'll take that L. I'll let him camp me and just be better than both of them. Are right? you the kind mm -hmm. of player that will see him in a brush and will just tell him, come gank, what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll That's do stuff solo, like 100%. if you gank me, I'll I'll just be like, bruh. Or he'll gank me again. I'll be like, stay more, please gank more. And yeah. then, and then if, and then even I'll do all that. And then when I finally kill the top laner, I'll be like, where's your jungler? Yeah, <laughs> like, sure, come yeah, back. That Where sounds are you at? Like, that sounds so, like you in Silly Q. And so I was talking to Yusui, right? Because he's on the same team. Yeah. And he's like, yo, you and Sharon got a little beef or something. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see you in Solo Q, he's all coming for you and you're talking to him. So. So he got a lot of LP off me. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> clearly he's the right I think his strategy, right now. his strategy is to target the player with the weakest mental on the enemy team. Yeah. Actually, it's so. true. See, he just ganks like crazy. I'm telling you, ganks like crazy. Yeah. Ganks people who he knows he'll get kills off of. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, he obviously is doing well. Like, okay, he, he definitely is effective in a lot of games. Now, what about the second rank player, Stay Calm One, which is Ruin, the CLG top laner? He spams a ton of rumble and so like have you laned against his rumble yeah yeah i played against rune a lot like man it's injustice that he is ranked two <laughs> because i swear most of the time i play against him like i don't want to say he gets carried but i feel like i'm doing work versus him but then it's like his team's better or he'll like be able to make plays oh you think he doesn't deserve to be ranked two? i thought you were I saying say like he, needs, he should be ranked one no no no, no. i'm saying that like he's like the definition of where like you feel like sometimes top doesn't matter that much oh. because he plays like rumble he'll play like maokai and you'll he's just getting shit on it timo team <laughs> <laughs> specifically in the bot lane as yeah a he was playing soraka and janna in the two clg wins yeah. yeah like like he's a good player he can play like meta stuff but he ends up playing like a lot of just team fighter champions and champions that like aren't that good at lane and so he'll kind of chill and sit back and try to make the good team play but he's like the epitome of a player, I think, in solo queue who is down to like take, uh, like sacrifice for the team for sure, and yeah, then 100%. like be useful still. Isn't that what you guys are looking for? in one of the signs of a tra of a good player that you'd play for somebody that can sacrifice for the team and, and just still deliver. Yeah, but it's annoying, man. It's annoying. <laughs> against. It's not. It's, it's not annoying against, against a player against like that. Dude. I'm trying yeah, to play Aatrox so in here and just one v one slam people, but <laughs> he's sitting as Towers Maokai, and then yeah, ah uh, man. <laughs> not cool yeah 
Uh, number three is Tarzan. Dude, he's ranked three already? Yeah, wow, like he's quick. back in there. And actually, this is this might be a good reason why he's ranked three. He's the only one on our list that's spamming Graves. 58% yeah, yeah. win rate. Graves kind of got uh, maybe a little bit too buffed right now. Have you guys played against him? Or, he's all right. Or Tarzan? I don't know how Tarzan does it, but it's mostly Graves specifically. Every time I play against this guy, I look at the jungle matchup and it's like, he's level 14 the other guy's level 10 yeah every <laughs> single time i think he just he he knows like which laner to take farm from you know he pulls up he grave skews the wave he yeah. goes and farms the rest <laughs> yes. of the jungle like it's a part of his clear he calculates the wave that you're about to farm <laughs> into the jungle Dude. minions that he's about to farm so it's like it combines into like a four level advantage it's not fun to play with or play against to be honest but i mean it's effective so. that's exactly what i thought it was is that there's no way you can generate this much farm if yeah. you're not taxing your lanes yeah so you have to sit there with this guy coming into your lane and just taking your cannon he does <laughs> do it in an efficient way though like he'll come clear the wave with you and then he'll like try to invade after or something you know so he like uses the the prio that he gains from farming your minions to like uh get get more off uh, of it so. so he forces you to get prio. exactly exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like he doesn't trust any laners so he just does it himself i guess yeah he, he okay. never stops farming. Yeah, and never. I don't mean that in like a bad way, like he's useless or something. Mm -hmm. But everything he's doing is like, I got to go here. So I got to like push out your lane so I can go into his jungle. And then I got to go catch my farm. And then, oh, my mid laner died. I got to take his mid lane. Yep. And then I'm going to go get Skull Crab. And then like, oh, bot lane needs to reset. I'm going to push that wave. And then he's just farming all Always the time. Doing all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And it, it works out because, I mean, Graves is just like a pretty good scaling champion. And... He's really good at Graves. Like, he is really good at Graves. So, later on, he'll be able to carry even if someone's, like, not doing so well. Okay. I guess it's time to start playing some Graves. <laughs> uh, do you guys... This is going to be pretty curious. Do you guys know who Echo Damo Wang is? Because he was rank one last week. Mm -hmm. Echo one trick that's playing both mid and jungle with a 59% win rate. But no one knows who he is, and he's not a pro player. Abuser. Echo abuser. <laughs> and this champion is still not being nerfed, by the way. So. Echo abuser. Yeah, he's next playing question. in Chicago and he's abusing Echo. Okay. Go next. Like, <laughs> well, we got to the bottom of that. That one. champ is broken though. Like, oh, for real. Yeah. If you get ahead on that champ, like he's definitely a good champ to one trick because you can play him in like, you play, play him well in mid jungle and you can kind of play him top if you just like some of the matchups suck, but like for the most part you can play him. Because yeah, as play soon bot. as you get ahead, shifter beat my ass. I remember <laughs> that. I won't even lie. Saw that. <laughs> as soon as you get ahead, you just jump on someone like EQ Proto Belt, like blow him up, electrocute. And then ulti back, and it's like 4v5. Yeah, even if you don't kill them, you're just out anyways, and they're, they're basically dead. So, like, you can just keep trying for that same one shot every, like, 50 seconds or whatever. Like, his ult cooldown is insanely low. It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the ult cooldown is well, It's stupid. ridiculous. You get a one trick, pick a good champion. Not Nunu. Yeah, Not Nunu. Uh, our number five, Core JJ. So this guy is still ranking here. I think this is actually a new account from him. He's playing Thresh most in solo queues. This is support you want in your solo queue games. You just want to Thresh all the time. I'm always down to have Core on my team. <laughs> that guy's a monster. Like Core, I'll say this, man. As a top laner, Core's a dirty abuser, man. A dirty <laughs> duo abuser. Oh. He does. He does. That's him true. And tactical, or him and double list or something. Yep. And it's like, if they're on my team, oh man, that's a free win, dude. Bot lane's gonna carry. If they're, I'm against them, I'm just like, man, this system's so broken. <laughs> Why do I have to play against this? I got I got some random jungle fill playing support bot lane. Oh yeah, and it doesn't <laughs> feel good when I have like a zillion one trick on my team supporting yeah. me, and I run into his duo queue. I got like tempo zillion on my team. I'm just like, <laughs> no, dude. He's like chucking bombs. He messes up on my CS. Core is like perfectly like, yeah. He's just creating his triangles. You know, <laughs> his <laughs> triangles, dude. It's rough, man. It's it's not easy out there as a solo queue bot laner. Uh, if you're against core, so like, so. are you linking your support, your auto filled support, your core JJ triangle videos, and like what you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah link him in game Please watch you know? this. yeah <laughs> we got to get in a discord call real quick buddy <laughs> dude i must it must feel bad though because i mean obviously it sucks for me to see like my autofill bot lane or something versus them but if you're with like some autofill support yeah. you must yeah. be like i guess i'm just i guess i'm gonna lose tower in five minutes and you get tied minutes. into it too your team's like this bot lane sucks <laughs> right like, <laughs> all right all right, all right, all right come, come down here you can lane with a zillion like you can lane with it and then i'll blame you after like have fun with that <laughs> yeah yeah. Yeah, sir. I've seen the Tempo Zillion build Nashers too. This oh, it, it comes out sometimes. Like any item on the list could come out. Like if it's in the shop, he could potentially buy it in your game. Like that's just how it is. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, number six, uh, Uma John Pupil. This is 
Pro Belter actually yeah. already yeah. rank six spamming Zoe and Lee Sin. So he's he was doing jungle before. Now he's doing mid. Is this the the next play hybrid two roles as the best way to climb? Yeah, I actually got better at climbing just because he can fill better. Yeah. Uh, which is kind of funny. His jungle is actually not bad, but it's a little limited. I think jungle is like one of the most valuable roles to be able to fill well as yeah. well. Like for me, I just like I have to dodge every time I get jungle. Like I'm an AD carry. I don't. I don't hit jungle minions. <laughs> yeah. Like you're I, a good I'm person. <laughs> yeah, I, I hit the dodge and go on one of my other accounts. Thanks to you. He, uh, I don't know. Like his jungle wasn't that great at first, but I think like he practiced a lot. Like I always saw him in my games, and actually he's he's pretty good at it now, even though he doesn't have to. But yeah. okay, I mean th that that gets to the point, right? You got to know how to fill if you want to yeah. climb as well. True. Uh, number seven, another duo abuser, Team Liquid Tactical. We yeah. see this most played champion. I, I personally do. Misfortune. Don't appreciate the duo abuse. There's no stronger duo than a fucking pro player <laughs> bot lane duo. True. Like, how are you supposed yeah. to to trump that? Yeah. And he's playing this champion. Is he really good isolated, or he's just abusing core JJ? <laughs> he's all right. Oh, well, JJ okay. must owe him money, dude, for how much he's doing with him. <laughs> God damn. I see them every game together. I'm like, dang. Double lift, where you at? Like, why are you letting your boy cheat on you like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, number eight, General Sniper. 13 year old General Riven sniper. player. This dude's a beast. This, this guy's guy been 13 for like five years now. Yeah, we're going to grow up. For real, man. <laughs> every time I hear about this guy, 13. Right. <laughs> Benjamin <laughs> Button over he's here. He's been a grown ass man for like two years. People don't even talk about it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> have you played against him? Is he still just playing Riven? Yeah, I would say he plays like Irelia too. He plays a little bit Aatrox as well. So he's never like that one. <laughs> oh, that dude, it's the same, it's same it's style. Aatrox, Aatrox, Aatrox yeah. Riven, Camille, Jax, yeah, Irelia. I ain't trying yeah. to shit talk because he is a kid. Yeah. <laughs> But man, it's never every you time I play against Colin. him, though, I sun his ass so hard, dude. I'm, uh, I, oh, he learns, okay. man. Oh, uh, where learns. are you on this list? Dude, I don't I, actually I'm see I'm just saying that's the injustice. Go look up my match history versus General Sniper. You know, I'm not trying to shit talk. He's a kid. He's a boy. But we'll look. I up. whoop him so much. We're dude. gonna look it Someone up. Someone get we'll the check it out. I'm, I'm down. But, but, but I like him though. It? I like him a lot though yeah. because, like, I, I thought it's super cool. Like he plays Riven like his brother. He plays pretty good Irelia, and. Even though, like, he, he doesn't, like, tilt, really. Because even games where I see him do poorly, like, he still tries to get in there and, like, actually make plays. Yeah. And, like, help his team out. Like, he'd be 0-4 or something and still, like, TP to a play and try and get, like, a kill or something. Well, he's only got, like, so much time to play solo queue because he's got, like, he's <laughs> yeah. got a little, like, high school schedule. That's true. Yeah, daycare to go to. Yeah, he's, he's got daycare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and also... Yeah, he started playing Aatrox. He does and play I was the like, Aatrox. Yeah. And I was like, dang, dude, that's cool. Because a lot of people will just be like, okay, I'm a one trick. Yeah. I'm just going to play my champs. But it's cool that he's expanding his champ pool even at such a young age. Mm -hmm. um, Have you given him any to... tips? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, I've given him tips, but not in like a verbal way. More just one. Way. No. He, he knows. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> it was, that's why it's so funny, dude. I'm pretty sure he started playing Aatrox because he played against me. That's all I'm saying. All right, dude. For the chill. Facts. You got to chill. Because, dude, I, so many times I play Aatrox versus Riven, and he must be like, man, this champ's busted. We got to get him on the show to figure out the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, dude. I want to ask him, dude. I want to hear what he says. All right. But uh, he's good, though, dude. He's the future. Mm -hmm. Number nine is Sven from Cloud9, but he's not abusing Misfortune. He's abusing Aphelios, 57% <laughs> win rate. I can respect that a little bit more, to be honest. Yeah. At least Aphelios takes like some finesse, I feel finesse. like. MF, you just pull up, you Q, you alt, pull. You know? Yeah. <laughs> At least Aphelios, you got to cycle the guns. You got to remember what gun you have on your do you, secondary. Do Aphelios really remember? They just kind of like, oh, this is what I'm doing yeah, this you fight. Just it's like, I've got this gun. I'll win the team fight with this. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they, so more respect. To he's him. good though. Like Sven is is like for sure. I think the best AD carry that I ever play against in solo queue. Like he's so consistent. Like I yeah. always feel like if I miss a CS, the game's automatically over because he has perfect CS every single game. He doesn't get caught easily. Like he's he's a really good player, and he's one of the few pros that like consistently tries that hard in any solo queue. I feel like so yeah. I respect Sven. Yeah, he tries hard as hell. Yeah, and he doesn't like do abuse like a lot of yeah bot laners do. He he'll. He'll get that autofill and he'll deal with it. He'll do, yeah, he will. Yeah, but if he dies once though, <laughs> he might leave. Someone's getting flamed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, Sven, like he's not like super tilted or whatever, but like he he definitely is one of the people who, if he thinks the game's lost, it's like it's pretty lost. Do you yeah. now? He's really try hard and he's really good, but he also has that that side to him. Is he the kind of player that we need to make uh, an solo queue better? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah those players yeah. are good. Those players are so good for for solo queue, like. Flaming when it's not on a personal level is good. Like 
uh, I think it's completely fine to like flame other people in game for the mistakes they're making, or at least like call them out on it. Cause like they should know they made that mistake and then try to improve on it. Because like a lot of the time dealing with a uh, like NA autofield supports, like it, they just literally <laughs> have no concept about anything that's going on. I'll like try to freeze a wave and they'll just like get bored and they'll just start hitting it and casting their spells. So I'm just like, bro, what are you doing, man? Like it literally makes me want to leave the game. So like I think it's fine to call people out and, and like I know NA players are sensitive, but it's. It's a step in the right direction, honestly. I think. All right, yeah. more. And he, he does, he's not really that hard. He's not. Yeah, he's not yeah. that rude about it. But, but it's yeah. it's he's like if everybody, if everybody in like LCS and like Academy and even like aspiring pros played solo queue like he did, this region would be so good. Like the solo queue would be insane just because he takes it so seriously. Ooh. Okay, that's high praise. That's high that's praise. The guy. Yeah, yeah. Every time I see Sven, dude, yeah. I know he's gonna try his ass off. Yeah, he's and good. when he's on my team, he gets me. Like I know he's gonna try super hard. And he's also just like willing to lose games. Be like, okay, you know, everybody suck this game. Yeah, that, let's no, just that's step important. Go this, next, like, fifteen or whatever. Oh, he doesn't write that's it important. out. That's important. That's yeah, he'll, he'll he'll realize what the game is lost, and he's not gonna trap everyone in there, which I think is also important. Like, so many NA solo queue players throw up the prison bars. Like your zero <laughs> five, your zero five top laner will be like, nah, dude, I'm scaling on Trindamir, man. <laughs> The I four, like the four I, one votes at fifteen. Oh, <laughs> it's a hostage situation. Up <laughs> There's this game I was trying to get out of the other day, and everyone on my team was like zero five. So I, I may have like sat in the brush that doesn't trigger the <laughs> AFK lever buster. And this dude like clipped my stream and then like <laughs> uploaded it to Reddit the next day. And the dude is like zero five on Trin. Like what? Like you didn't have a chance of even carrying. No, what it tells me the most is the the four one vote in nineteen fifty nine. Oh, oh no. so rough, man. It's yeah. brutal. Yeah. I always oh. just tell my team we gotta wait till twenty guys. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, last guy before we move on to the fly quest guy. Oh, we don't even have him here. All right, we're changing, changing oh, it up. Oh, it's Rukid. 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 You guys know who he is? I thought that was you. Did Irelia you think that was player. somebody? I have no idea. Who this I is. thought that was like <laughs> uh, Five Fire or something for a yeah, while. Yeah, it might be. Or, it's probably. Uh, I know it's not. Like a, I know it's not him. Okay. I I think it is some random guy, but. I thought it was him. Have you played against him? I've never seen this guy in my game, actually. Yeah, he plays mostly mid, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've. Yeah, I th I honestly thought he was like an academy player. If he's playing um, mid, he's got a rough road ahead of him. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's risky, him risky business, man. Risky <laughs> yeah. business. Right, he's got so much potential. Go. Pick another role, man. You can make yeah, it. seriously. But he's hella good. I I don't know much about him. Um, you should probably pick a name that's like a little bit less confusing, so I know he's like an actual. Someone trying I to get think in the he scene. Just probably had really high praise for rookie. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought. Yeah, he's good though. I'd like to know more about him. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if he's just some like random talent or whatever, like from everything I've seen, salute. He seems good. Yeah. So he's just trying to get on a team. If he's in LA, he'll be on the show. We'll <laughs> let's let's not get ourselves. He's definitely oh, he's definitely in Chicago right now playing <laughs> on the <laughs> thing. Like yeah, I seen him play. Yeah. Anybody playing Aurelia really this much in solo queue? They know they play on the thing. That's, that's, that's a, a Chicago thing, player really, for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you guys playing at home that is just off meta? Are you trying any any new stuff that is just on the cusp, but it's just cooking that you can, you can barely well, share? Well, you got chefing up. I've been cooking the Ziggs for a while. I'm <laughs> Dude, a huge with fan Nami? of the Ziggs, man. With Nami? Ziggs Nami? Yeah, that could be good. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, I'm more of like a... I like playing with like the tank supports, but I don't know. I mean, it got played mid a little bit in pro play, but it hasn't really gotten played balling much. I think the biggest reason for that is not many good like AD mid laners, but... Yeah, in solo queue where the damage mix doesn't matter as much. Like I'm a big fan of the Ziggs. It's dirty. What matchup do you want to go against? Anything. It doesn't matter. Like you throw the Q next to the minions, they get hit, they tilt, they cry. <laughs> it's and you can just take towers like instantly too. Like someone backs, you just kill their tower. It's really tilting. Plus Ziggs is so fun. He's really fun. Chucking that ulti. He actually is. Kobe. Like, yeah. Get unironically, <laughs> one of the more fun champs. Okay, yeah. so Ziggs bottom. I've been playing that. I think he's fun. Are you playing anything top besides? I, I have Aatrox. tried out something since like the new patch, and I've got to apologize to people in my games. I was playing Gravestop. I'm oh, sorry, y'all. No, <laughs> I well, that was the thing. I didn't even get to that point. Oh no, because <laughs> people were like, I found out that Nemesis was playing Graves, yeah. and he's going like BT mm -hmm. Death Dance, and oh, the tank Graves build. Yeah, it's like kind of tank, and uh, that just shows how much smarter he is than me or something. Or maybe he's got LS in his back pocket, he's like got LS in his like you can't you can't compete with that. Can't compete with that. It's two players, you know? Because <laughs> <laughs> I started playing it because I was like, oh, well, you know, you can just push it and everything. And I didn't even realize. I thought in my head that the Death's Dance changes had happened and it was still like Aegis. And so I was rusting Ghostblade and building like <laughs> oh, <laughs> Ghostblade no. into Cleaver. Oh, and, no. And like also I had to play against Irelia a lot and I was getting shit on. Um, but 
that build with the life steal actually doesn't look too bad. I might have to try it again, but I don't think so. You don't have you to. Can... You could try it in like normal <laughs> games or something. <laughs> it seems good unless though. you're on the other team. Like you, let me know. <laughs> it seems good in theory though, because Gray's wave clear is so insane. Like, yeah, that's true. He it just shoves out, and it's like, what can you do? You can't contest him. What can you do? And then he just farms camps and he just chills. Well, your your uh, buckshot with life steal is just. I think it's got to be higher because you're just hitting more autos on them. Yeah, like as soon as he got BT when I was watching Nemesis play, he would just like auto a creep like up close, mm-hmm. heal for like half his HP, and I was like, "What the hell is that, man? That looks insane." What's the rune setup for it? Uh, what did he go? I think he fleet. went fleet. I believe. Did he actually go fleet? I think it was fleet. Yeah. I I, I tried a couple things. Fleet seemed okay, just because it's like pretty standard. Uh, Isn't tr- Hail of Blades like not bad? Yeah, I tried Hail of Blades, but. That seems like more of like a ganking thing. Like True. that's a jungle thing. Yeah, I would think so too. The trades aren't really like I tried lethal tempo. That seemed like a better version of that mm-hmm. because then even if you clip them with like one of your autos, you can push really fast. True. Or you queue them even if you get the first tick of damage. Smoke them out. <laughs> and what about <laughs> Callista top with Halo Blades? That I saw the shy just play a, a game of that this morning. Oh yeah, he played it in LPL. I think no one's got the hands in NA to be able to pull that off. <laughs> Can or you pull the it hands off? or the do you, have, Hell no. do you have the hands? I don't think I could. I mean, if I put time into it, I could probably play Callista. But man, that champ's just, it's hard. It's kind of unorthodox. And I personally think that it's a little bit overrated. Like, I feel like Lucian is just a better version of it in really? a lot of ways. I don't know about that. Callista's you don't think so? impressive, man. It's impressive. It's impressive? Maybe you, you just don't have the hands, bro. <laughs> but but the then, Shy is all hands. When man. I'm he's looking at his stream, dude, I'm like, he doesn't even have a webcam of his face. It's just his hands. Like, He's like, ah, look at these. I use these to beat you every time. You can't do anything about it. When, when I watched him play against that guy, is that guy's name like Cupid or Cube? I don't like, remember. Like the top lane he played against an LPL. That guy seems sorry, Just man. a random. He, he got beat down, and he seemed pretty bad. <laughs> I don't know much about him, but he... He got beat pretty bad, and I didn't think like it was that oppressive that that should be like the outcome where you're losing every play <laughs> and you're just down like 50 CS. Uh, and I think the thing that kind of sucks about it that makes Lucian just decent or like a little bit better is because um, you have to build that one item, the uh, the lethality lethality item. Oh, um, whatever oh, it's called, Sanguine Blade. Sanguine Blade. You have to yeah. build that to make it work. Right, and I just think that if you just don't get destroyed that hard, like Lucian's damage also like at tower, you're just like ba ba ba, and you do like your burst ba ba ba. But Kalista, yep. it's just, just like, like that QE or whatever, yeah, right? Just spear, spear, <laughs> spear the whole time. Yeah. So like Kalista, longer trades definitely better, but Lucian's better short burst. And I think Lucian's better team fighter because you just well, throw on that cooling and you just beat him down. The thing about Kalista, I don't know, are people maxing E or Q top lane? Dude, they don't. They they only max those. Yeah, the, you, there's you no, no, no no no. Points. I know, but you still have to prioritize one. Uh. If it's Q, okay, I yeah, mean, yeah. lethality and Q is, like, insane. Like, the amount of damage your Q does is, is actually crazy. If you get good at landing it consistently... And that did just, seem pretty crazy. Yeah, you always can, like... You can, like, Q through the minions, and you can E at the same time, and it'll automatically apply to the, the rent of whoever the spear goes through as well. Uh-huh. And it's just, like, so much damage. It's, it's really crazy. There's a lot of little, like, niche things that you can do on Cluster that people don't fully realize, I feel like, and that, that makes top lane is ain't gonna know about. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that, that <laughs> just really sounds like real. there's no one with the hands or the brains to even pick that up. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a Callista guy myself. Are you? <laughs> I am. I thought you were an Ezreal guy. A little bit of both. Little high little skill champs only, you know. If you had to play against like, okay, fine, tell me this. What would you hate playing against as Callista top? Like, what if someone threw a Pantheon at you? How are you gonna fight that guy? I wouldn't like the Pantheon. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not down. He just for jumps. That. Up, he just presses two abilities. That's I a no go. But Graves. Pantheon is like OP. I'd be down for the Graves matchup. We can one v one. Graves any matchup. Day. Hit me Wait, up. by the way, if Hit someone played line. Lucian into Kalista, do you I think would it dis- works? Yeah, uh, you destroy the Lucian. Really? Kalista is a Lucian counter. You can, if you're good at her, you can consistently sidestep the Q, and he just automatically loses the trade. What if you play? What if they're playing Tristana? Imagine Trist? a bone plating Tristana jump on. Yeah, you, you lose. Two. Like, yeah, Kalista <laughs> gets destroyed. <laughs> Kalista gets destroyed by Trist, 100. <laughs> percent So funny. we just have marksmen in the top lane. I started with freaking supports. Now it's marksmen. That'd be yeah. funny if it was just counter picks or just marksmen. Yeah, we. Well, <laughs> what if I just start like, playing top laners. When you see a I'm vein down. top laner, I, I'm always almost instantly trying to dodge, but then I see, oh, it's vein versus Lucian top. Now. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess this is what our game has be- has yeah. turned into. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shinshin was right, man. This is the problem. Top it, lane's just 80 carries. Is there anything that that you guys felt like was too far with the off meta stuff that just happened recently with the Janna, the Sorakas, and the uh, like? Is that is that a 
we should never see that again. Disgusting. Right? It just speaks to how useless Toppling is, honestly. Like, <laughs> True, the man. role is irrelevant. Like, True. We have the most irrelevant roles in the entire game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you switch? You had 10 years to figure I did, it out. I played mid for a year, and then I realized I was in NA, and I was like, no, no, no. Yeah, this, no this ain't it. <laughs> Back to AD. And Janna, Soraka, some stuff, man, that... I'm surprised they didn't just hotfix that because the, the fix seemed really obvious. Yeah. You know, you just make it so you have to have someone next to you. And they even did it before, and they're like, well, what if people don't do it? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, you guys won't do it, right? Like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Promise? Shake, shake on it? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ridiculous. I couldn't believe that was good. And then, oh, man, it tilted me so much. Dude, I had to lose against so many sorry players, man. <laughs> dude, I had, yeah. I had, I played against Pink Ward, dude, and he played oh, Pike. Oh, no, dude. He played Pike with the support item, right? This one, you can still do it. <laughs> he Where? loves the top, top, He loves top, that support right. item. He played man. Pike with the support item, and he also played Shaco, which was also annoying, but Shaco's like really useless compared to Pike, you know? Yeah. And he would play Pike, and this guy's like, I got 50 CS. He got seven. <laughs> 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 he hasn't been farming. He's been just standing yeah. there, just standing there, and I'm dude. just PVE versus the creeps. I was and, against that guy. And then he just game? roams, and then it's yeah, like, yeah. And he's still more impactful. He can just, yeah, he just yeah. runs around, and it's yeah, because like, you don't need a lane. You just like, you just run around the level map. six, just run bottom some boxes, and see what happens. We're just, just beating around level the three bush. Bottom. Let's just be Dota already. Yeah, it right? is kind of like, Dota esque. Yeah. Well, <laughs> before we go to our next segment, which is explain like I'm bronze, where we go over some things that bronze players might not know. This is for the subscribers at our YouTube channel where we are giving away a hundred dollars. That's right, cash. But we are FlyQuest and we are thinking about the environment. So this is not gonna be papered. It's gonna be <laughs> electronic money for you. All you gotta do, be subscribed, comment, and then we'll figure it out. Thank you. <laughs> Payment Bitcoin, yo. <laughs> Anyways, back to our segment. Explain like I'm bronze, and we're gonna go over champion mechanics, and we're gonna go about over five of the most played champions right now. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start with Ezreal mechanics that I think are useful. I'll share one. I think we could go around sharing like little cool things about Ezreal. My favorite is casting your ultimate when you're about to get CC'd. Yeah, it still goes off. You get the damage, and you waste less time. Around, let's pass it around. <laughs> my, Give me an Ezreal my, tip. My Ezreal tip: uh, don't die, even if your support's bad. Just stand back. That's yep. my, every time That's I play facts. Ezreal. Max range, Q every creep, TP back, Q every creep. Oh, zero zero zero. Did we win or lose? Not my fault. <laughs> your support dying just means you get solo experience. So True. like, abuse that. You know. Um, the biggest thing for Ezreal for me, like when I'm laning, is like going in and out of brushes constantly, because like. When you hit six, once you get your ulti, your ulti can like just single-handedly force people out of lane. So like if you're dipping in and out of the brush constantly, and then like one time you slip into the brush and you ult, like they're not going to expect it, you know, because you've just been doing it the entire lane. And same thing with like W as well. You can really catch people off guard. Like I, I like get kills uh, that way quite a bit when I'm playing them. Okay, so hiding your skill shots yeah. from your opponent, pretty exactly. big deal. Pretty much, yeah. All right. Well, this is a much easier champion to figure <laughs> out <laughs> how to play well. A uh, misfortune what tips you could have for misfortune i'm gonna say just press r to try to hit as many people as possible like this <laughs> yeah. is to bronze people man e just, before you are and, and honestly anyone. sometimes if you don't even know you're gonna kill him, solo ult one guy <laughs> it works too that's true i <laughs> my tip for mf would be like if you're back in base look at your inventory is it all doran's blades <laughs> no <laughs> buy some more I'll man what the hell <laughs> all right deep blade health stack just smash your face on the keyboard like it's gonna kill them eventually you could just walk up and alt people it'll make them mad like mf is all about that you know you gotta get in people's heads all right make people mad she is exactly. kind of tilting the way she she's moves. In, she's yeah everything about her just for bronze right yeah it's for bronze okay just remember to press r after your mumu has ultied and then after your malphite has ultied not before not before <laughs> stack them up win. stack them up <laughs> yeah well, at least you know half of the bronze Zodiac combo. It's true. Curse of the sad mummy and uh, curse, what was of it? curse of the bullet time. Bullet time or something yeah, like that. there it is. Um, all right, number three is Lee Sin. So Lee Sin tips. I'd say number one is make sure that you bind a key to your ward hop that is comfortable for you because you're gonna have to ward and safeguard to it a lot of the time. So I bind it to either just a regular four or T. But if you have weird fingers, you should think about that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, my tip for Lee Sin. Uh, there's a cool champ named Zin Zhao. Uh, you should probably <laughs> play him instead of Lee Sin. Lee's too hard. No Lee allowed in bronze. Yeah, do not play. Br it, 
If, if you you're even uh, diamond, you should probably still think about yeah, playing yeah. Lee. Do you live in Chicago? No. <laughs> All right, you can't play Lee. Yeah. Honestly, if you're going to play Lee, just make sure you open up TikTok on your phone before you make a cool play. That's, <laughs> that's all you got to make sure you do. If you're in bronze, I don't know if that's going to happen, but you could give it your best. All right, make the montage play. Uh, <laughs> number four, Thresh. So uh, Thresh tips. If you're bad, be a lantern bot. Just sit back and just save people. Don't try that's, to go that's for it. the hook. That is the big difference between good and bad Threshes. Mm-hmm. Is bad Threshes will just stand next to you. And not, not even just necessarily in lane. But you'll be like trying to push a mid wave or something, and he's just standing there, and then they engage on you and you both die instead of him standing back, getting mm-hmm. the lantern ready. Like it's good. Like you don't necessarily need to just stand next to your carry <laughs> just to like soak XP. You know, if, if it's dangerous, just get ready to lantern them out. But they've been doing it all lane. They've been spending so much time <laughs> together. Yeah, true, true. Yeah, the biggest thing is like you don't have to use your hook. You could walk up and play. It's just as effective. Yeah. Like every thresh, every bad thresh I play with always wants to go for like the 300 IQ sidewinder <laughs> Q, and it's just like you ain't got to do that. You could just chill, you know, walk up and flam. You're you're good. Get yeah, your mobies. They're gonna die. Right. It's not as complicated as it seems. Just do the simple stuff on thresh. Exactly. Your team will love you for it. And last one, Lucian. But I want to hear tips from Lucian, both top and in bot lane. <laughs> okay. Uh, I I think Lucian tip for me is I like to play the theme song from lucian the entire time on <laughs> remix though the crystal method lucian intro song yep. 24 hour loop while you're playing it gets me in the zone Damn, that's pretty good yeah what uh, about lucian, for lucian top i think lucian top is uh remember when you're up 20 cs and uh the map's completely screwed over like bar lane lost jungles getting killed like mids getting solo killed just remember you type top dip <laughs> 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 Top dip Lucian, of course. If you're like, gonna play in bot, just make sure you're laning with your wifey, you know? Like <laughs> send us here now, you don't gotta be separated. Pull up, hit the cues together, cross streams on the cues. Like what can they do? Wow, that's it's gonna beautiful. hit it's gonna hit every time. Is that really the strategy? Crossing your cues? <laughs> yes, that is that is it right there. You heard <laughs> oh, it here. Baby, my cue just <laughs> hit yours. So funny, I, I think I've hardly ever seen Sun and Lucian lane together, even though it's like designed kind of for that, right? Yeah. Funny. It was designed, but then the lore just split them up. Yeah. Right? So it's it's a weird area. It's like Trindamir and Ash, right? They're married, but they don't have anything to do with each other in the inside True. the game. Yeah, Trindamir not doing a lot with Ash. I mean, have you seen his arm? Like, <laughs> yeah, <damn. laughs> sure. what are, What's Ash been up to? Yeah, she's Ash, been pre- <laughs> she's all the way on the other side of the map. been out like, in the wild, man. <laughs> he's alone up there. Sleeping on the couch off the top lane. <laughs> Uh, or F block. <laughs> you guys use op.gg? Yeah. You guys scout, yeah, yeah, yeah. scout out players because we're going to scout a few that you might know of. <laughs> What's oh, yeah. your, my op.gg? It's got to be just. Yeah, who is this guy? It's, it's, yeah, huh? Yeah, so we, we have yours. Oh, we have mine? We're okay. going to start with OP.gg, yours. OP.gg, some dude feeding my so, game. Like, who here, is we're going to pass these out. Up. Check it out. <laughs> make sure everyone knows what we're doing. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are 755 beauty. LP. That's pretty good. Oh, this is fresh, dude. I just wow. played this game. Damn. An hour, an hour ago. ago. Fresh jungle? off the print. Dude, I, I will say, oh, man, I used to have so much LP. This Would you believe I used user. to have like 1,200 LP and then sad stuff, man. Sad stuff. You're getting your role a lot of the time. Yeah, no one wants to play this. Sorry, ass role, man. Come on. Dude, but, oh, man, some of these games, Okay, man. yeah. Does this I printer? Mean, this, is an, this is an immaculate. <laughs> Do you, you, should see, you should see some of the pages before this. Man, I had some scores. Like, you see the Zach game? 3 1 5. I'm lane versus Renekton. Renekton got solo killed twice. Lost. Do you have any games here against uh, General Sniper? I don't think I do on this one, actually. Let me look. Let me look. I think the color might have ran out on the printer a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of gray <laughs> KDAs. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have any on this. I, I played against some cold days ago. You need a little bit more. A little bit more on that. So which of these champions that you're playing are you, do you enjoy the most out of, out of your top seven? Um, I don't know. I really like playing Aatrox. And I like playing GP just because I think every matchup with those champs, you can win if you play well. Uh, Set's kind of like that, but Set is like... He's the boss. He's the boss. I mean, the, the problem with Set is he's so one-dimensional that people can just avoid you, mm-hmm. right? Like, if I had to play against some range top lane like <laughs> i've had to play against like janna or something top you know yep. like this guy just yeah. avoids me the whole entire time so that's kind of annoying okay well i mean dude, this is a perfect but then look at that dude look at that look at that na jace right there 44 percent win rate on jace 
disgusting, man. It's like, NHA. You know, and I'm smurfing in a lot of those games, too, dude. It's just this champ is just not, not possible. All right. Now, this is someone that you guys might be familiar with in another server. Twitch Prime mm. from Korea. This is LS. See a lot of Cho'Gath. Yeah. Diamond 3 <laughs> right now. <laughs> what do we that. make of this? There's a lot of Soraka too, actually. 30 I see a, games of Soraka. I see a cane with top highest, with teleport here. Is that oh, what did that? Do my eyes deceive me? Wait a minute. Uh, that's an L. If is I've that ever a troll thing? That's yeah, that's, that's griefing, right? Like that's reportable. Where that's legally considered trolling. Yeah. I saw like you could be that. imprisoned for that. <laughs> you could face yeah, serious prison time. Bad. That's pretty serious. Not like. <laughs> I don't know where that guy's been, but you know there's that one show main in, in solo queue? Yes. Actually, there's a couple of There's them. a couple, and they're all equally... They're they're on that same wavelength, <laughs> for sure. I think, uh, honestly, though, if you want to climb, Cho'Gath is like a good champion to climb with. Are you yeah. playing him with the Glacial Shroud build, or what? Or Yeah, Glacial Augment, Augment sorry, yeah. not Shroud. Um, I mean, you can do that. This is what's good about Cho. Like, you can play him top, you can play him mid. You could probably even play him jungle if you want to. Yep. And... He's so, I mean, he's pretty easy, and I think people just like underestimate Cho a lot. Like, if you play the Glacial Augment build, and you like go in AP, like people don't realize your Q does a ton of damage, and and no one dodging skill shots in no, nah, not Bronze no, or, like, not if you're not in Chicago. Yeah, yeah, no one dodging skill shots. So <laughs> you can like one shot people, and Cho is so obnoxious when he gets ahead because he's like unkillable. One shot you with ulti, you know, does a lot of stuff for your team. So if you want to climb, like honestly, Cho'Gath is a really good champ. I've seen a lot of people who. I think are pretty bad players in challenger, like, you know, high elo. Yeah, you're not wrong. And they're playing show and I'm like, this champ's insane. It's hard to deal with, yeah. And he just hits a point where he's so tanky and I just it's just impossible to do anything against him. With the stone play too. I mean oh, the, yeah. the fact that you can just that's the build I like, just going proto spookies, stone play. Yeah. And I mean what it, what are you actually gonna survive? Yeah. Well, and it, and it's is, like, yeah, you can just farm versus anything. Well, you can I'm also going to point out one thing about this uh, OP.GG, and I can't make fun of this because I have a worse win rate, but this is a 48% win rate. <laughs> <laughs> but he's playing on the hardest server, right? Yeah. But yeah, like, exactly. This is really common this season. I had yeah. actually never seen a season where there was this many people that were consistently climbing, yet still under 50%. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that, honestly. I've definitely seen a lot. Like Even pros were getting trapped in D1, like sub 50%. Yeah. I know Prisma was tweeting every <laughs> week or something about being trapped in D1. Yeah, Faker <laughs> in D1 right now. I Faker, think. too, yeah. Like, Wait, really? I don't I know if he's, he's still. He, he might be Masters now, but, dude, he was D1 for a long time. He was, yeah. He was D1 for a long time. I wonder why time. that is, too. Like That makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's weird. Dude, getting out of Masters promos in Korea, it ain't no joke. Oh, it's, it's tough. Yeah, it can be tough. Have you guys played with double lift lately? In solo queue? Oh, man. Yeah, I had him this is his OP.GG. He has a 54% win rate. I was in one of these games. Did I win, though? I don't remember. Let me check it out. Where are you here? I could have swore I played against him or with him in one of these games. No, not, not in these. Maybe from another one. Oh, there you are. Spotted in the Ezreal game. Did we lose or win? Fox oh, you did? solo. Uh, you lost. Oh, yeah. God, you got it? clapped. It wasn't close. <laughs> Losing, losing. Yeah, dude, that was a 29 minute game. Is it Ezra one? He had Kelly Dino though, so like, it's not oh, really man. balanced. He oh, I Broxa. clapped him. Wait, no, no, I got clapped. Oh, you, yeah, you got clapped. Dude, my team is so good too. What happened? Oh, wait, you had Kelly Dino. Oh no, Unlucky what man. happened? Let I me mean, check it out. Let me try it. Might have been a war cyclone diff. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> war <laughs> cyclone. Oh no, man, injustice. I was probably smurfing in one of those games oh, too. Oh, G man life. I hate this guy, man. Oh, isn't that the Thresh man? Yeah, dude, I really, like... I got I, mixed feelings about him. Sometimes he does well, but... I banned Yumi in his game, and apparently he was hovering Yumi, and, like, he just locked in Ezreal's support <laughs> as an AD carry with TP. And oh, I even no. tried to make it work. I bought the support item as a Philios, and I yeah. was like, all right, I'm gonna make it work. This could be fun. And then I, I pull up to lane with the support item, and he TPs top, so I can't even <laughs> use the support <laughs> item. Like, he, he tr went beyond trolling. And then he went on a smurf and sniped me two games in a row, except he went trundle support but he built as though he was ezreal like he was like hinting at me like hey, it's me <laughs> dude but that is so personal Damn, it was very personal. personal i felt so attacked i was like dude i just don't like playing it to yumi like what yeah it was better catch that hover yeah that well, happened to me last night i i hovered the champion and somebody banned it and immediately everyone's trolling i'm not gonna lie he was hovering <laughs> it but i'm just not a fa we weren't first pick i don't like yumi i'm not a fan of playing as that champion so all right okay but he took it personally emotions so. are high in yeah. solo queue yeah now the now we're going to talk about the guys that are just the viewers 
the, the guys that okay. comment on our YouTube that want to see. <laughs> Are we going to find them? Want oh, to see no. the real meat of what we have to say about this. And the first one is support top god, gold one player. I mean, this guy is a G. 85% win rate right now in this gold. This is Tempo Smurf. Is he? Is he? This is it. Is he 100%. Playing? 40 wins, seven losses, but still gold one. I feel like he's just flexing on us. Like, oh, this he guys doing the doing the disgusting, dude. He's doing yeah. top lane cell now. Yeah. 29 games. Reprehensible. Of that. Oh, this guy's a little Smurf, though. Dude, look, he's got 40 and 7. Oh, he's crazy, man. For real. Uh, well, I feel like he, he probably just like dodged his account down or something. <laughs> well, that's part of the, the trick to climb, right? Yeah. You, you have to have dodging in your arsenal. No, I mean like <laughs> dodging all the way down, like. Oh. Yeah. So you think he purposely got himself to this hellhole I, for the I, fun of getting out of it? I've got a feeling, but maybe <laughs> not. How can you win this much and still be only gold one? That's my question. Shona. But actually, it takes so long to climb now. Oh really? Someone told me it took like takes oh, like over a right. hundred games to get the masters. Okay, yeah. They did. If it's a fresh account, it's longer yeah. for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's long. <laughs> longer than that. All right. Uh, Further research needed. We got a, So that was a Sona <laughs> abuser, so it's hard to tell what he's doing. But here's another abuser, though. Mm -hmm. Webster, 108 games of Mordecai. This is a top lane play. I mean, this guy is actually just a pu criminal, really. Criminal. Mordecai, <laughs> Trindamir, Darius. Those are good chances to climb with because they're easy as hell. And they're actually, like, pretty good laners. Dirty juggernaut abuser. Juggernaut. Yeah, like, the and he jugs. goes Ghost Flash. Like, this is what he, he knows what he's doing. God, Ghost Flash Darius is so lame. Just so that's, lame. That's Runs, catches you in brush, doing. W's you the whole lane down. Pops the second he pops ghost and he he sees you, you know <laughs> what's coming. I'm actually yeah. dead. Yeah. I'm actually dead. Doesn't matter yeah, what level what's happening. Yeah. Oh man, it's just uh, it's yeah. so lame. Like it basically makes it so you just can't even fight him past like the halfway point. Like if you're like no matter what champ you're playing, as soon as you like commit something, he just pops that ghost and he chases your ass down and you just die. Like there's no way you can live. I think they should make it so that his W doesn't reset on creeps. Yeah, I think that's like a isn't that like a noob friendly sort of tool? Like it's supposed to help help them. like kind of how Anti Q does that. Yeah, yeah, it's it supposed is supposed to help them. I yeah. I think the changes that the nerfs they did, you know, they might not be enough. Like the champ's still gonna be annoying, but I think it's good because a lot of the problem was he can basically just hook you on cooldown, and his mana costs aren't that crazy. So now that he can't do that so much, it's gonna be a little bit better. I think maybe they should make his bleed not do as much like early levels i think that'd be cool scale better too i'm down to have it scale better yeah i'm down to scale better yeah. I, I think that's fine but early levels like level one you shouldn't take bleed for like because a lot of times you do get five stack level one right if this guy wants to ghost on you for sure and it shouldn't do i don't know how much it like does, 200 but it, plus. it feels like ridiculous amount of damage yeah. uh okay. the five stack bleed does so well i mean it's working for him he's yeah, got a better a win rate than double lift <laughs> so he's got that going on uh, and our last guy is a completely unranked player, <clears throat> Brutal Enforcer 7. Ooh. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's oh pretty gosh. clear Blue what he likes to do. Brutally. <laughs> dead talent There's no only. question about that. Plays all that talent. Man. They're kind of the same same pick, but, I mean, you'd rather have a talent than a Zed on your game, right? Maybe. Depends who's playing it. Laceration Zed, dude? Oh, my God. It's pretty this clean. Disgusting. Who's Zed? Pretty clean. Laceration? Okay. This guy's like Zed one trick. Shout out. Yeah, he's a beast. Is it stronger than I forget what was the name of the Zed, the talent you mentioned? Yami, Yamakaze. Yami, Yamakaze's you think, talent. Who do you think is better, Yamakaze nah, or Fui? Yeah, uh, I think I think Yami actually. Oh really? I don't well, know shout out for sure. Fui, dude. He's way better. Uh, they they, just, <laughs> they <laughs> both the do the same guy? thing. They just pull up both. over the wall both. and oh, die. His trend like, sucks though. I was right. Right. your trend. Sorry, yeah, man. Plays grass trend. That's weak. That's no bueno for sure. Grass sucks. Yeah, he sucks. I'm pretty sure like. I'm pretty sure he used to just troll people with Trin, and then he like got good at it, like almost ironically. <laughs> yeah. And so now it's like not even that bad. But he should definitely like Talon is better, dude. He came up with this new build for Talon. Oh really? Uh, Fui. It's you go like Dust Blade, and then you like you go Tiamat as well, and then you go. I think he goes Cleaver into Titanic into Sterex. Mm. Oh my God. Tanky. He go, Tanky. You, oh, you I, this think I, I think 3K I help. That. One shots oh, you anyways. So I couldn't believe man. it. Like he can basically just jump in one shot you. Yeah. And you can't even do damage to him or kill him. Yeah. Unbelievable how broken it is. The uh. tamp is just oh, like, I can't believe how broken it is. I mean, he doesn't is. really build any lifeline items. Oh, he has Conqueror otherwise. too. So he heals like a, a ton. I, I, I was so blown away how much damage he did and just how tanky he was. Uh, that actually yeah. sounds like a really good build for jungle talent. Like you're yeah. saying, right? Go tanky jungle talent a yeah. little bit. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. that's not good. I thought talent jungle would be good. Yami made it look pretty good. I mean, he didn't want a jungle like 
Uh, the guy that was mid didn't trade him, but he made it work. It was pretty clean. Well, I think that's is that our last segment. That that was our last op.gg to look over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's it. We did it. Wow. The lights came off before we closed this. <laughs> so they're kicking us out. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, do you have anything you'd like the viewers to watch you? Are you playing on Twitch Rivals? Are you doing anything? Twitch like, what's rivals, going on? <laughs> what's yeah. going on in your lives? <laughs> I think there's a Twitch Rivals coming up again. You can check me out if you want. I'm down. Come yes. by my stream, Twitch TV slash Benji. Is, uh, is Swifty on your team for Twitch Rivals? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Oh, man. All right, so twitch.tv <laughs> slash Benji. I don't know. I'm helping out FlyQuest, so, you know, watch all FlyQuest games. Uh, cheer us on. Uh, so, you know, got the games coming up this when week. When are they? Uh, so, yeah, Academy plays on Friday and uh, Monday, I think. Man, that sucks. But <laughs> 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 And then uh, LCS is going to play on Sunday and uh, and Monday. So No audience now, so watch at home. Oh, shit, no yeah. audience, man. Corona. Yeah, wash your hands, guys. Yeah, wash your hands. Oh, that's that's it. That's the end of the show. Thank yeah, you for yeah. watching. Thank you to our guest Solo and Benji for sticking with us, and we'll see you next week. And also, make sure you comment on that because we are giving away a hundred dollars. Yeah. All right, subscribe and subscribe. Hit that bell. Yeah.